group stages aren't the same as knockout games. I've seen it before, time and time again. Senegal, one of the best teams from the group stages, but I just said maybe they picked too early and I've seen it before. Teams that play like, like that do not tend to go ahead and win. And against Cameroon again, for me, there have been better Cameroon teams before, but this was a Cameroonian team who knew what their strengths were and knew how to stay in the game. And they made it very tough for Cameroon. Because I think what Cameroon did is that defensively they were on point. And they said, Senegal break us down. That we're going to squeeze in when you're trying to go in, into the middle and you're going to force it to go out wide and you're going to put, you have to put good crosses in. But Cameroon, they defended very well. They were very, very physical, extremely disciplined, you know. Um, and for Senegal, and I always said that the key was Kitabalde and Mane. They didn't have their best games. They didn't really connect. They weren't really popping off. So Senegal were able to hold them. And again, penalties is a lottery. It is what, what, what it is, you know. But um, that's it, you know. So Cameroon through to the semifinals. And who knows, man? Teams that come out of games like this, they tend to have that bit of inspiration to go all the way. Because for Cameroon, it may be similar to the whole Portugal situation where there's some kind of divine intervention pushing them through. And whenever you go through a penalty shootout and you win, that's always a very big, huge psychological boost for you. So I just think that for Cameroon, who knows what what, what they can do. And because, again, they're playing Burkina Faso, and I think they will feel confident they can beat Burkina Faso. So well done for Cameroon. Again, I thought that's for and as I thought as the game were on, they had their chances as well. Cameroon had some very good chances to score as well. So this just wasn't a full and defensive walk. But for Senegal, I just hope that Harley Sisse isn't sacked. He's an African coach, a local coach. Keep him, let him grow with the team because there is definitely something here for Senegal. But he just needs to walk away with the team and then the team will grow. This is a learning experience. For them to know that, you know, in knockouts games, you need to kill the game of and you need to be a bit more ruthless ruthless you know with how you operate especially against tougher teams like a cameroon so just going forward you know for senegal i just wish them luck because i think there is a really good team for the future um and as with you know kuyate balde mane all these boys Neame. but for cameroon mukanjo the captain leading them through it's anybody's game why can't cameroon go all the way and and win this whole thing